So Steve, we've talked about different types of models for including additional generations. And I think you've got a really recent experiment, basically, that you've been working on that's a really interesting project. I wondered if you could share those details. Yes, thank you, Jane. Uh, one of the challenges that we've been hearing from older adults uh, is there are many folks who are still living with adult children, typically adult children that have some form of disability or, or challenge in life, and they want to stay together. Uh, but the, the, the parents are reaching an age where they need to be thinking about that next season of life. So we've been working on creating an accessible environment for an older couple that wanted to move into Garden Spot Village and bring their adult son who was living with an intellectual disability. And uh, in order to create a space that allowed them to stay together, but also provides the appropriate levels of privacy for each group, what we've done is design a, uh, a multi-story home where there's one floor living for the, the parents, for the couple, on the first floor, but then there's a residential elevator that goes up to the second floor that can be outfitted as, as an apartment. Uh, so the son can have a, a space of his own, a full apartment of his own, but still be connected to his parents and, and still re receive the support that he needs in that environment. And I think it's been a reminder for us that uh, consumers don't really come in a one-size-fits-all package. Uh, but more and more, people are coming with individual needs, and uh, they don't want to fit into the model that's been created for them, but rather they'd like something that's designed around their needs, wants, and preferences, and reflects their own individuality and their personality and the issues that they're facing in life. So, so in line with that idea that one size doesn't fit all, it also seems like the housing that you described could be utilized for other types of couples as well. So maybe someone who wanted a personal caregiver or wanted a space for grandchildren to stay or um, had another reason why or, or had a family member or another friend that they wanted to be able to visit and stay with them. Right, absolutely. You know? And the other situation that we've encountered where we envision this really working well is a couple who might be in their 60s or 70s but is still living with an aging parent. Uh, and so that, you know, in Lancaster County, we have what we call dotty houses. The Amish have just built on an extra little house for grandma to live in right outside the back door. And this really functions in that same way. Grandma can live, uh, you know, on the upstairs in the apartment, still be fully independent, but still be connected to her children and, and they can live in the same house. So there's a multitude of uses. And when you create an environment, when you create a building that can be adapted for a lot of different purposes, it just opens up all kinds of opportunities. Uh, Steve and Jane, that's another great example of uh, flexibility and we've been emphasizing that you know the guidelines need to be flexible so uh, you know that's so important to, to have that type of book that, uh, that we've been working on so that you can have the opportunities to, to meet those resident needs. <laughs>